Hi artists, welcome to a printing lesson. We're going to make a, a garden with found objects. I have all kinds of supplies here and I already started due to the time factor. So I'm going to start doing a little more and I'll explain what I did with these objects. So if you would like to make your own, grab a paper and be creative looking around the house and finding some objects. Here is a glue cap. I'm making a circle that could be the middle of a flower. It could be a new flower. I dipped it in paint. You could also use a brush to just brush on a little paint or even rub just a little bit on. Sometimes less is more when you're printing with found objects. Here's Q-tips that I put together with a rubber band. <clears throat> I'm going to get a little paint, and it'll make multiple dots. I did it here. Whoa. Less is more. I like it better with less paint as I go along. Maybe I can pick some of that up. So I started by putting a shape in the middle for my flowers, and I'm repeating shapes going out from the center. Let's see what else I can find. Here's a cookie cutter. I actually use the back of the cookie cutter, the wider part. Get permission before you start printing with things from the kitchen. I made my own stamp with a little piece of cardboard and tape that I folded over on itself. And this could be a petal for a flower or I use this for the leaves, actually. And I also used it for here. Look at that. Maybe I'll add to this flower and do a little overlapping. You really have to press down to get the whole thing to print. If you put something that's squishy underneath your paper, that could help the paint grab the paper better. So it's really trial and error, and your prints are going to be a little messy looking, and that's okay. It could be a little bit abstract. I plan on doing some drawing at the end. Hey, here's a carrot. It's a carrot. I cut up a carrot from my kitchen. So maybe I can make a little dot with that. How about it? Maybe I'll put a dot there. Whoa, too much paint. I should have brushed it on or rubbed it on with my finger instead of dipping it in really quickly. Let's do something else. I use cauliflower for these interesting petals. I sliced up vegetables. Look at this. Broccoli. I'm actually going to put some paint here. And... It could make a nice texture. I'm going to brush on a little bit. It'll make little dots. If I press, 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 broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. Whoa, that's different. I also use this for the grass. I put some yarn around a cardboard, and I made my own tab to hold on with tape folded over on each other, and pressing with the lines from the yarn, ooh, there was some paint left over there. It looks good. Line, line, line. So I'm getting creative making my own stamps. Take a look at this. You can get a long piece of paper, a little piece of paper that's a rectangle, and tape it, turn it into a shape. So this is a circle. I did the same sort of thing with part of a toilet paper tube. So let's see if I could make a circle with my paper that I taped and turn into sort of a stamp. Where should I go? Press, press, press. I'm going out and repeating all the way around the flower here to make it bigger. We can even overlap. You can make all different shapes if you use paper or toilet paper tubes and bend it. Oh, look at this. You'll never guess what this is, cereal. It's cereal. 
I'm going to use the edge of the cereal to make little lines, bing, in the flowers. Fun for details. I tried using a cracker, but my cracker broke. So, again, this is trial and error. We are experimenting here. I love using thick cardboard. The edges make really nice lines. I'm going to get some paint and put some on the edge. This could be the stem. It could be a lot of things. You know, I keep liquid paint in Rubbermaid containers and little snack cups. That's a good way to keep it nice and fresh. If you don't use, use it up in one day, I pour out paint from bigger bottles. Hey, look at this. This is a chopstick. It's going to make a nice dot. And the new pencil eraser tips make awesome dots, too. I think I'm about done. That was the cookie cutter there. And that was the cardboard shape here. Look how awesome. I use this for the middle. I want to show you that you could even draw details in at the end. These are oil crayons, but you can use whatever you want for drawing. All right. You could draw before, you could draw after. I hope you enjoyed watching and getting some ideas for printmaking. Now, go try it yourself and you can make a funny face. You can make a robot. You can make a house. You don't have to make a flower or a garden. Use your imagination and show us, take a picture, and show us what you're doing. Oh, I like that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.